Hello. <laughs> My name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and uh, we need to talk. Um, it's nothing serious. Basically, you know, I just feel like I've been making a lot of content that's more on like the serious side. You know, it's like me talking about things that are kind of like not negative. Well, I guess it is kind of negative. You know, just like social commentary or, you know, uh, commentary about, you know, the online space and, and stuff like that as well. And, you know, I don't want my channel to be a place where, you know, every time you come here, it's like, ugh. What is she gonna talk about today that's gonna make me feel more hatred towards the world? You know, like, I don't want to be um, that type of presence online. I don't only wanna talk about negative stuff. So I thought, you know, there's a lot of new people here. Um, you know, I've been, <laughs> I've just been gaining so many subscribers. It's like, what is a woman to do? Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would make a video of me just kind of talking to you guys and kind of just having a very like, laid back, chill atmosphere. I'm gonna like do my skincare routine and cook dinner and I wrote down like a list of things and just talk to you guys um, about like random things that I wrote down. Uh, and if you guys don't like this type of video, um, I guess that sucks for me. I've actually been afraid to do a video like this where I'm kind of just, it's just me genuinely talking, you know, like I haven't wrote a script and there's no structure because if someone doesn't like one of my videos, I can chalk it up to, oh, the jokes I wrote were not as funny this time or they just didn't like the topic or the sketches were poorly written. Uh, but if they don't like a, a, this type of video, then it's like, oh, they just don't like me and they're planning on hiring a hitman to come and kill me and uh, they're going to steal all of my belongings and sell them on the black market for, and it's probably even gonna be on clearance to be frank. But anyways, the first thing I wrote down was, why are oysters an aphrodisiac, right? Can we talk about that for a second? An aphrodisiac is supposed to be like a food or item or, or whatever that is supposed to be like, like initiate arousal, am I wrong? Um, I would Google it, but my hands are all wet. I'm washing my face. Um, because I'm, I'm confused. There is nothing, literally to me, nothing unsexier than an oyster. Like, I'm, I'm not thinking to myself, oh, you know what's gonna put me in the mood? Slurping up a booger from the sea. Like, I can't imagine, <laughs> oh my God. Like, I can't imagine knocking back a dozen oysters and then being like, oh, ready to bone now. And I mean, I guess there's worse foods to, to have as an aphrodisiac. I think crab legs would also not be a great aphrodisiac because every time I eat crab legs, I feel like I'm like a primal Neanderthal carnivore. It's just like, if I have to smash my food with the hammer of Thor to get the meat, I'm like, this is not sexy to me or really that enjoyable, but it does taste really good, so. Like, comment down below, have any of you genuinely had an oyster and then afterwards been like, oh, I'm horn horn now? If anything, after I have a really good meal, oh, should I show what I'm doing? I'm using the snail mucin, the snail mucus. I feel like that would be like an aphrodisiac for like some rich person, you know, slurping up caviar and snail mucus before, you know, giving birth to their 12th child Douglas Griffin the third. I just put vitamin C on. Um, and then another thing I want to talk about when people, um, like if I get recognized or whatever, or even like just through comments on social media, when people are like, oh, you were, uh, you were like my childhood. Obviously that's a compliment. And I'm so like grateful to hear that, that I was like a significant part of your childhood. Cause that's so sweet. Like how many people get to say that they were, you know, like a part of someone else's childhood um, besides like your parents, hopefully if they're good parents. But it's funny because I feel like people who say that to me are like my age. And it's like, when I hear that, I feel really like old. Like I feel like you're addressing me as Barney or like, you know, Bill Nye the science guy. And I feel like I've gotten worse and worse at um, being recognized. <laughs> like I feel like when I, I just feel like I, I can be so awkward sometimes. And I think being, having comedic presence online, um, I feel pressure to maybe like be funny, you know, like if someone recognizes me, obviously it's because they've seen my like funny videos online. So I almost feel like they're like, you're the joke woman. You're the joke lady, dance monkey dance. Knock, knock, who's there? I need you to tell me who's there. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who's there. I don't want to open the door. I didn't, wasn't expecting 
anybody. Most of the time I feel like I'm normal. You know, I, I show my gratitude obviously and you know, have a conversation, whatever. Um, but then, uh, <laughs> hello? But then sometimes afterwards I'm like, oh my God, like it's like social anxiety kind of. It's like, was I being weird? Like, did I make that weird for them? Especially because it's like a one-off interaction. Like it likely won't happen again. And you know, it, it's gonna be like their, that will be their perception of me. And I just, I don't know, it makes me kind of like nervous. And this isn't me saying like, um, if you see me in public, turn around and don't talk to me. You know, I'm not saying that. I really like meeting you guys, but I just feel like lately I've been way more like self-conscious of like, am I being weird? <laughs> like, did I make that weird? Sorry, I was drying my hair and now I'm ready to make myself some supper. <laughs> I'm going to be making... Making for the 11th time in a row, pasta. Oh, something else I wrote down is how I don't drink or smoke. And I don't, are you, are some of you guys like that too? Like, I just really hate the feeling of being out of control. Do you know what I mean? I'm very like, I want to be in control of everything I'm saying, everything I'm doing. I don't like to not remember things. Like the thought of blacking out is very scary to me. What do you mean I wake up and I'm like, huh? Like, <laughs> like I just wake up and I'm just like, well, what happened? I don't recall the memory. The SD card was wiped because don't get me wrong. Like I have drank before and I've been in that place where it's like, not that I don't remember anything, but that I'm like just being sloppy, you know, like I'm throwing up and I'm stumbling and I'm like, ah, like I don't want to be that person. But because I don't want to be that person, a lot of the times when I'm in the club, um, it looks like I'm like not having fun because I'm not drunk. And then a lot of people say to me, how can you go to the club if you're not drunk? And my answer is I like being around my friends and I'm capable of just standing in a corner somewhere and being with my friends. Like, you know, I don't, I, like I'm chilling. Do you know what I mean? I'm a very laid back person. Like as long as I'm in good company, it doesn't matter too much like where I am. But because when I go to the club, I'm not drunk. Most of the time, like I'm kind of, you know, like standing like this and I'm just like, have you guys ever had raw zucchini? Zucchini and cucumber are in the same family, right? Like, I wonder... It tastes like a farm. The next thing I have written down is my fears. Bitch, why would you write that down? I mean, besides the uh, run-of-the-mill traditional stuff, like getting kidnapped or killed or heights, um, I do, I have this fear of, obviously a lot of you know that I want to be, you know, an actor, right? And I have this fear where me talking about it so publicly is also going to allow me to fail in the public eye. You know, even if I make, I'm making like these efforts in the public eye, which I think overall is, you know, not a bad thing of, of me to do. Um, especially because my videos, a lot of them do involve acting. Um, I, I have this fear of like, oh, everyone knows that this is what you want to do. And then fast forward 45 years, where is she now? Living in a box, you know? It's like, it's like kind of like, you know, that normal fear of like failure, but then it's also like the public aspect added to it. And then obviously, you know, there's also the fear of like, I am, you know, a comedian. I, I make comedy videos and I'm, I'm known for that online. I was very worried that people were not gonna be able to take me seriously as, as an actor. I still am worried. Sorry, I have to wash my shrooms. They are filthy, dirty, grimy, disgusting. Anyways, I was really afraid that people were not, uh, were not and are not in the future going to be able to look at me and, and take me seriously. <laughs> and, and you know, actually look at me and, and see a talented, person, I guess. Uh, that's like definitely like a fear and an, a very persistent anxiety of mine. Um, ew, I hate that I'm being vulnerable right now. This is really, I, I feel like I'm hardly ever vulnerable online, but yeah, let's talk about something else. I need a little bit more of a jolly vibe while I'm slicing my shrooms. When I get bitten by bugs a lot, it's like annoying, but also makes me feel desired. Like I'm delicious because sometimes it's like I'm literally getting, getting eaten up 
buy buds like they're literally at a Chinese buffet right and they're like general souls general souls beef broccoli we love we love and I'm like okay but ouch ouch my body my body and then I look over to my friend and her their skin is not covered in bumps at all clearer than a mirror that was just cleaned great great analogy very creative, Emily. Wow, yeah, that was one for the history books. Then I look over to my friend and I'm like, why are the bugs not attacking you? Why are they declaring war on me? But then I'm also like, but like, they chose me? Like, pick me, choose me, love me. What else do I have written down? Oh, I wish I could share music more. Yeah, I, I, I never talk about this really, but I, I really like to sing and I like to play instruments um there's a few videos on here from like years ago that i have of me like singing a little bit but i know that this is like annoying or whatever but if you guys want to follow my instagram and like listen to some of my covers because i really do like singing and like music is a pretty big part of my life that i don't like really like showcase very much if you would like to Ew, oh, see, I hate doing this because I feel like a peasant that's literally begging and groveling, like, please, sir, please look at my Instagram profile. Like, who cares? Um, maybe you? <laughs> I hate when I feel like I'm, like, bothering you guys to do something. Like, that was a big thing. Like, when I posted my short film, I was literally, guys, I was literally shaking in my boots, knees on vibrate. Like I was, I was really nervous. I was really nervous, but obviously I'm so grateful for like the, you know, reception of it all and, and everything. Oh, I am so shy speaking Mandarin and it's embarrassing. Uh, so true. And, and first of all, I am, I learned Mandarin through Duolingo. So it's also like, you know, how well equipped am I if my teacher was an owl? And I don't know how many of you guys are like learning a second, uh, a second language or whatever, but it is so nerve wracking to speak a language that is not your first and, and you know that you're like bad at it, kind of, you know? Like one time I was in Chinatown and I asked someone, oh, how much is this? And I was just expecting them to just say the number, right? But then they, they said the number and then they started adding a whole bunch of other stuff and I was like, blah, 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 blah. this was not in the script. Like, you're going off script. I don't know what to do right now. And I was literally like, you know, and she, and then she just started talking to me in English because she was like, oh, this, I wonder what's the Chinese version of like gringo? Sorry, there's people vroom vrooming. Um, but I want to be able to speak Chinese, but it's just so hard when you're not immersed in, you know, you're not speaking it like all the time. You know, like sometimes I feel like I would be so much better at it if I had to do it to survive, obviously. And I feel like I have not been practicing and I feel like I kind of gave up and I really should not just give up like that. I guess should I show you my work so far? I, I'm cutting a pepper and then I have mushrooms and then zucchini and then here's my ring light guys you uh, I know that there's a lot of like new subscribers here um, but ones who have been here for a while know that this is a very new addition to the channel oh imagine if you were in a club and I dreamed a dream from the Les Mis soundtrack came on that would be really weird <laughs> Being in the club when they're playing all the classics, you know, Toxic by Britney Spears, shots, 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 and then all of a sudden you hear Anne Hathaway, I dream to dream. <laughs> or like, you know when Broadway musicals, like sometimes there's like talking in the beginning of a song or something, to be at the club and then all of a sudden you hear like, Hey mister, did you read the paper? Did you hear the news? Well, the war is over and now we're going downtown. Just hearing and then there's just like one Broadway fan in the club who's like, oh my God, this is my song. Da, 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 da. Imagine you're at like an edgy New York rave that's playing like a lot of like heavy techno and stuff like that and then this comes on. Hello. My name is Elder Price. Do any of you actually use your dishwasher? I feel like I, me and my roommate, we always just hand clean our dishes and then we just use our dishwasher as a dish rack. 
our, dis our dishwasher also is not functional. So that's a part of the reason why we don't use it. But even, even so, even if it were, even, even so, even if our dishwasher could wash our dishes, I believe that we still wouldn't even utilize it. Um, water, I need water. <laughs> it's steaming hot, hot, hot. Um, while I'm waiting for my water to boil, the next thing I have written down is that Bruno Mars song that goes banging on my chest, bang, bang, gorilla. What does that mean? Why is she banging on your chest? If I'm engaging in da-da-da with somebody and I'm banging on your chest, I feel like wouldn't that be like, hey buddy, like I'm not like maybe stop. What, especially like a gorilla, like a ooh, gorilla. Like if I'm literally like, boxing your pecs like I'm in the ring like Jake Paul and also I'm sorry banging on your chest bang bang gorilla I I personally would not want to be referred to as a gorilla in the bedroom a gorilla like yeah you know Emily she gets like harambe in the sheets what like imagine having intercourse with someone and they're like damn you're really giving primate right now like you're really giving orangutan right now can pasta go bad? I, I feel like that was like much harder to break than usual. I, perhaps I got weaker. Like banging on your chest, bang, bang, gorilla. Like I wonder what, like squawking in my ear, squawk, squawk, parrot. Like, like what are you talking about? I think that's enough pasta. I have a really bad habit of like overestimating how much pasta I'm making. I. I will think, oh, this is like a humble meal for a singular woman. And then it turns out, oh, wait, I guess I made something for a family of five. Sometimes I wish my name wasn't Emily. I love my parents very, very dearly. And Emily is, you know, a normal name, but I, I, it's, it's not very unique, is it? I feel like if you shout the name Emily down any street block, three bitches will turn around. But sometimes I do wish I went by my Chinese name, which is uh, Ime. Uh, e meaning one, and then Mei meaning beautiful. Uh, so they, my parents named me that for number one beauty. Um, sorry if you can hear the bubbling of my cauldron. <laughs> oh, the next thing I have written down is who invented motorboating and why did they do that? Also, I'm sorry, it's really, it's like getting very hot, so I'm gonna change. Do your guys' stovetops do that too? Whenever I try to turn it on, it's, I, I feel like it's going like it's like punishing me or it's like scolding me. It's like you should have ordered Postmates. You think this meal is gonna be any good? Try again. But anyways, wait, what was I talking? Motorboating, right. Uh, what? Like whoever invented that, like how did that come about? Like you're with your girlfriend and just like, hi, can we try something? <laughs> that's also, that's a part of small boob privilege, right? Is that no man could ever come up to me and be like, uh, ma'am, spare a motorboat. No, you can't motorboat me, okay? All, if you tried to do that, you would just be rubbing your nose into my sternum. And I wonder, like, was that just supposed to be, like, a playful ha-ha thing or, like, a genuine, like, sexual thing? Because I don't really get how that would be, like, arousing. You know, like, in the bedroom and they're just like... Brrr! I would be like... I need to get an Uber home like immediately. I need to get an Uber home yesterday. It might get loud because I'm stir frying my zook zooks now. Oh, people sometimes, excuse you. Sometimes people ask for a tattoo tour. Here's one of them. Okay, my voice crack, love that. Oh, the next thing I have written down is, I'm so sorry if the audio is like bad. That's the next thing I should invest in is a mic. Um. And I know that I'm gonna get some comments that are like, you don't have a, a mic and you have over 700,000 subscribers, like, get it together. Um, I'm trying. But the next thing I've written down is, why are underwear lines a bad slash embarrassing thing? It's like most of us are wearing it. Like, the fact that underwear lines was seen as so, like, not appropriate or whatever, that thongs were invented is crazy. And for people who think thongs are comfortable, like, What? 
Like when I see someone's underwear lines, I'm not looking at them and judging them and being like, ew, like that's not, you know, that's gross looking. I, I see it and I'm like, oh good, like they're wearing it. I don't understand why people go caving. Why would you do that to yourself? If you don't know what caving is, it's literally when you enter a cave and I'm sure people do it to like different degrees or whatever, but some of the videos I've seen, like you go into a cave and you literally go in so deep that you're like sandwiched between stone and then you just like keep going. Like, hello, huh? I, I, I'm not, I'm, I try not to be judgmental of other people's life choices, but a lot of the times I'll see videos where pe someone is caving and then they're stuck like in the cave, right? And they're like really scared, obviously. And, and they're like, guys, like, I don't know what to do. It's like, I have an idea. You could have just not done that. Like not to victim blame, Right? Even though I literally am blaming the victim. But I feel like if, that would be like if I walk out onto a wobbly, rickety bridge where like the wood is splintering off and I'm in the middle of the bridge and I'm like, how did I get in this situation? And it's like, bitch, you walked. And I still feel bad for them because like obviously that's so scary and, and but then a part, of, a part of me, I think the first part of me feels bad for them. And then I think about it more and then I'm like, hmm, dot, dot, dot. And how did you get there again? Like you literally could not pay me enough to do that activity, I'm not joking. I would literally pay you so that I wouldn't have to do it. That was too much. <laughs> well, what's done is done. Oh shit, wait. Hey guys, my camera died, so. I never actually did an outro or said goodbye. Um, but yeah, if, if you guys like, you know, more laid back, low key videos, I can, I can do them a little bit more often. I, I just get scared. Um, yeah. <laughs> Obviously I love writing and I love acting, so I'm definitely not gonna stop those types of videos like whatsoever, but I do, I think, you know, every, every now and then I, I wanna sprinkle a little bit of, you know, just me talking to you guys um so yes thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video thanks and if you didn't i'm sorry to hear that <laughs> um but yeah okay um have a good day and until next time